Hey yo, what's up? Matoka desu. <laughs> Kyo wa getsu yobi da yo. And I thought I would do a week in my life because I've actually never done that in Japan on my channel because I'm not a very good YouTuber or whatever, like making videos. I don't know. But it's my last week in Japan, so I thought I'd end it with a bang、um, by making this video.、Uh, not that I'm really doing anything exciting. This week, I'm kind of just like packing and wrapping things up, trying to see as many friends as I can before I go, trying to buy whatever I need to in order to bring back to the States. So, today's Monday. The plan right now is I need to buy a suitcase because the one I already have is full with winter clothes. I need a suitcase for all my other stuff, and it's already pretty late. It's like 12 15, so I have to meet friends at 3 o'clock. So I have from now until 3 o'clock to buy a suitcase, get lunch, and buy everything else I really need. So I'm going to go to Shibuya. The Don Quixote in Shibuya is like a bigger one in Tokyo. It's a mega Don Quixote, and so they have a lot of selections of suitcases that are pretty cheap, probably around like a hundred dollars. Because I was looking at some other places. They're pretty expensive, like 200 or more. So, we're gonna go to Shibuya, grab that crap,、uh, try to find something to eat, and then meet my friends. And that's basically it for today, but we'll see, you know. Honestly, this is all that's gonna happen with my hair today. Looks alright, but I really need to like, sit down and figure out just how to actually style my hair. <laughs> I actually made a video about that too. It'll probably be uploaded before this video, so check it out as well. My friend does my hair, but I haven't even sat down and actually watched the video and kind of figured out how to do it, so right now this is as much effort as I'm gonna put into it. Cause I got shit to do! Shibuya and try popping into my favorite、uh, sushi restaurant, and we'll see if I can get a quick meal there. The only problem is, like, it's always really crowded. There's like a line that takes like half an hour to an hour, but because it's a Monday and a weekday, hopefully, there'll be no one there. So I'm banking on that. Please. <laughs> So, I came home for a little bit just to put my suitcase here <laughs> in the middle of the freaking room.、Uh, but now it's like almost three o'clock already, and I'm already late to meet my friends.、Uh, so, I gotta rush now. So, here we go. <laughs> As a good friend, I feel like I should take the train to be more on time, but I'm just gonna walk really fast instead to save some money. Because I've been spending so much this week since my last week and everything, so. Let's rush.
Chocolate Netto. Netto. Did you go home? Huh? What's up? So it's the end of Monday. I ended up kind of stopping the filming after a while. Uh, probably after the escape room. We were like close to the end of it. After that, we went to an izakaya, got some milk tea, and then I went uh, a little bit shopping just to figure out what to buy for like my friends and stuff. Ended up not buying anything, but I feel like I need to actually pack before I start buying things so I know how much room that I have. So tomorrow or Wednesday, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I don't have a lot planned for the next two days. I'm kind of more focused on getting my apartment together because I have to have pretty much like all my stuff out and uh, you know, get everything packed. I'm also looking into how to send my suitcase from my apartment to the airport because I'll have two suitcases so I kind of don't want to bring both of them it would be too much of a hassle um, so hopefully I can uh, have one be delivered I think it's only supposed to be like 2,000 yen but it's just finding a company that will do it and that kind of thing so hopefully I won't have to bring both of them but we'll figure that out later this week. For now, I'm just gonna hang out. I might film a video before I go to bed, and then we'll see each other tomorrow. So, mata kayobi. Hey, what's up? It's Tuesday. So today I don't really have an agenda. I ended up doing laundry this morning. I'm going to eat some breakfast after I record this. And I didn't really sleep well last night. I've been thinking a lot about me leaving Japan and all that kind of stuff. And while I think it is a good time to go, go back to America, get some experience in other things as well, I feel like it is kind of hard to leave Japan just because I've built this whole life in the past year. You know, like meeting friends and all that kind of stuff. I feel like I've kind of reiterated that in other videos or maybe even earlier in this video. But it's something a lot that I've been thinking about just because the end, the end is coming so soon. I think this is actually a good time for me to leave Japan. Um, hopefully in hopes of coming back in the future, either living here or at least coming back a lot to visit at least maybe like once a year hopefully but we'll see how that works out but life here is great for like a student or just like living here if you're a rich child and you don't need a job or anything but if you actually have to work i think the pressures of life and just like the weight that you have on your shoulders is a lot different a lot heavier than actually being a foreign student at least being a japanese student is completely different as well so i don't want to like put words in other people's mouths about that but if you're just going to like language school or doing like daigaku or something as a foreigner besides the actual like learning the language part and everything you kind of have a lot of free time so it does feel like more of a relaxed kind of lifestyle compared if you have to work for a japanese kaisha or even a foreign company or anything like that 
just the working conditions are a little different from other places in the world but the whole like outside of what you do in your free time i feel like there's a lot more to do in japan which is why i'm like sad to go and like all my f new friends are here not that like you know i have old friends back at home too which i'm going to see and stuff which will be great but the whole lifestyle will just be completely different so i've been kind of dwelling on that another thing that i have to do i think i'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do it though is uh go and unregister my address and cancel my national health insurance here because i have to do that before i leave but mentally it's like that's the end of my life in Japan, just like canceling all that stuff. I mean, the real end is actually going to the airport, but it makes me think like, oh, that's freaking it, like right there. But to plan to the d for today, there really isn't that much. If there are little things that I'll do, I'll film it. But today and tomorrow are pretty chill days, so I'm just gonna take it easy, reflect. I'm also uh, like slowly starting to pack up my clothes. It's just. I don't want to pack everything right now because I still have what, uh, today is seven days before I go. So I only have seven days left. Um, but I want to have clothes for those seven days, so I don't want to pack everything up. Yeah, so this is Tuesday, y'all. Uh, so I am actually going to go out and do a little bit of shopping, I guess. Uh, there's this, like, discount anime store thing that I found last night walking home so I want to hit that and I know they have like little small things that I can buy for my friends and stuff and maybe for like video ideas too so I'm going to check that out really quick before I have to get dinner with my friend and also go to the grocery store just to get some stuff for the rest of the week but it's just so freaking humid today like it's only 26 degrees celsius so it's like like 80 mid 80s I guess maybe lower 80s I'm not really sure. Still haven't gotten used to the whole like uh, Celsius versus Fahrenheit thing and meters and centimeters versus inches and stuff, but you know, it's always a work in progress. I feel like if you want to be international, you should just like learn both just to be safe so people will understand. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Follow me along. Follow along with me. Follow along with me. Oh, my English is getting worse, and I almost just dropped my freaking phone. Alright. This is my favorite place to walk around in because it's like not super crowded all the time. And it's actually really close to Shinjuku Gion. So it's really nice. You can just walk all the way to Shinjuku. So I bought kind of a lot of stuff at the anime place, but everything was only like 300 yen at the most. Um, so I pack. I got these bags from Daiso in order to pack, and I just packed all this stuff. Packed all this stuff in these little storage bags here. So it looks like fairly nice and I can put that crap in my suitcase. See ya. この保険証なんですけど、これね、7月の29まで so the process to do the actual like checking out of Japan was a lot faster than I thought. The paperwork didn't take long at all, maybe like 5 or 10 minutes at most just because I had to write stuff down. But if you live in a big city like Shinjuku, I recommend going somewhere where it's not as crowded. So not the Shinjuku main branch, but like somewhere else to do all your paperwork. It makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna go to Shibuya in order to buy some stuff for my friends.
That's right, I'm back home. Just gonna sip on this polka do sweat. The best thing in the summer to stay hydrated, not sponsored, but I really wish I was. Uh, I don't know the, what the previous clip is gonna be, but today I went to the office, uh, the Shinjuku office, in order to change my address, tell that, that I'm moving back to uh, America, and also uh, cancel my Hoken, which is the health insurance. Super easy stuff. All I need, all I needed to do was uh, fill out one piece of paper, and they give me an envelope. So before I leave, I just mail in my Hoken card. Before I leave, super simple stuff. It took me five or ten minutes. I then went to Shibuya uh, in order to buy some stuff for my friends and for my mom, and I got sushi along the way. And then I walked from Shibuya to Harajuku. Uh, just to pick up some other stuff and I really wanted coffee so I went to two different coffee places that I had tagged on my Google Maps and they were both not existent. <laughs> One is uh, Sodama Coffee. Uh, it's in Harajuku but it also is a uh, gallery as well. So I went into the gallery because I didn't see the coffee shop at first but the coffee shop is actually closed for construction. It's out front and so I went into this gallery which is basically just women's clothing and they were probably like, why the hell are you here? So I kind of like walked around and looked because I didn't want to just like walk in and walk out because I felt like that would be even more weird. Starting tomorrow, my plans are pretty solid. Like I have more things going on, so... <laughs> Guys, I'm doing such an awful job at actually creating these videos for this week in my life. It's already almost 2 and I have a uh, hair appointment at 3 to get my hair cut and redesigned or whatever. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Like, it's not super long right now if you can kind of tell, but it's like, whatever. Um, so I just want to get like a little more styled and because it's summer too and it's pretty hot, like probably just like shorter and like get rid of the sides and stuff so we'll see what happens but I'm gonna get a quick bite at the konbini before I go. The salon I usually go to uh, it used to be in Ginza, but now it's in Omotesando, so I need to head over to Harajuku and then walk over to Omotesando in order to get there. So I'm leaving an hour early, and hopefully I'll still be able to get there on time. It shouldn't take super long, but because it's so hot and I need to grab food first, I don't really know. After that, I'll check in with you guys again, uh, but I'll be... Just going to another izakaya with a group of classmates and friends from my badminton group and some other friends as well. Um, there should be about like eight of us, so we're just gonna find a place in Shinjuku and have a quick bite and like hang out and stuff. So. debating whether to go back home and take a nap, but I think I'm just gonna try and find some coffee here and try to live my life on caffeine instead of sleep. So let's try that. So yeah, I lied. Boohoo, you know, my bad. I mean, yo, I can't hack it today. Like, it's... I can't... I'm using my phone to record so I don't even know the temperature. I think it's like... 31, 32 degrees Celsius, which uh, is hot, plus with humidity, 
I would guess like humanity today is 120%. So it's just like freaking sweat everywhere, my god. So yeah, coffee was a bust. I wasn't gonna walk around Harajuku to try and find a place in the sweltering heat. Like that's just not gonna happen, like let's be real. Also, how do you guys like my hair? I think it turned out really well. This part is a little... I don't know, I kind of like... It's quirky, right? If not, I'll fix it later. Oh well. So I ended up not filming very much yesterday uh, when I actually went to the izakaya. I was already really tired and everything, so I just... Didn't really get a chance to film anything there. Um, and also I just wanted to like be in the moment, socialize with friends, have a drink or two, you know, just the usual. So now it's Friday. We're getting there, man. It's like almost time to leave Friday. Like, forget. What's up? So my friend just left, he had to go to work, and so now I'm gonna try and get some packing done. So this is what I'm working with right now. I have to fit all of this stuff in this suitcase here, which is already like a little bit full just from like tourist things that I bought for my friends and just some other stuff for myself. Um, I'm not gonna... This guy is probably going in the trash unless someone wants to adopt him, but figure I don't know if that's gonna happen so I have to kind of figure out what I want to keep what I want to give away um, or what I want to like kind of donate and stuff because in my closet here I also have uh, that bag there I have to get rid of all of that and for the stuff that was in the closet there's a pretty expensive jacket that I ended up buying and only wore it a few times but I think if I go to the store and actually sell it I won't get that much money from it so I haven't decided whether I'm actually going to try and do that because this weekend is pretty booked I don't have that much time in order to go and get that done maybe Sunday morning if I get up early enough I can try and do that uh, and if that happens I'll take you along if not you can do easy recycling at any H&M um, usually by the counters they have a bin so you can recycle clothing and it can be pretty much anything it doesn't have to be H&M stuff it can just be any clothing I don't think they accept shoes so for the shoes I'm just gonna try and throw away and see if that's okay uh, the shoes that I have and don't really want to bring back and stuff. But otherwise, I'm going to try and sort all this stuff out, try and fit as much as I can in my suitcase now. I mean, I still have, what, four, one, two, three, like three and a half days here. So I have to leave some of the clothes out in order to just, you know, like wear. <laughs> So I'm not running around naked in Tokyo for the next two or three days. The plan right now is to check out on Tuesday morning around like 9.30 and then go straight to the airport after that. But right now I'm just gonna like get to this and try and get it working so I don't have to deal with as much later on. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. It's been an hour and this is the final product so far. This is my souvenir section and just like random stuff I want to bring back. So I think there's enough room for my camera bag, which is right over here. 
um, as well as a pair of shoes because I'm getting rid of most of my shoes. So I think I'm only bringing three pairs total. One I'm going to wear, one or my badminton shoes that I'll be in my bag and then I'll put another pair in here. I have two bags of clothes here. These are uh, like air taking out of bags or whatever they're called, storage bags are really useful. So I highly recommend if you have to move a lot of your clothes and shit. Uh, so I have this section here for um, the clothes that I'm keeping out for the next three days or so. Um, so it looks like a lot, but it's actually not that many. I have this and then I have this stuff too. This sweatshirt is a little bulky and I actually only buy it for like $15, I think just for cherry blossom pictures. So I'm probably gonna get rid of that. And then anything that doesn't really fit, I don't necessarily need these pants either so I can toss those. And I have my little bag of get rid of crap here. I will take all of this to H&M on Monday probably if I have time. That's about it. Like, I think I'm doing pretty freaking good. It's since I have like three days left and everything. So yeah, success. Here we go. Ooh. Hello and welcome to Friday. <laughs> um, once again, it's hot as balls, but today I have badminton, so I am going to head over there now. I had breakfast with a friend this morning, um, and so now I'm already late to badminton. If you can see, can you see? It's like, uh, well, it's backwards right now, but it's around like 1.20. So it's 1.20, it started at 1, but because it's so hot, I feel like I'm only going to be playing for an hour or two anyways. But I have a little like gathering with the badminton people after that, we're going to just kind of like celebrate me getting out of here, getting out of Japan stuff. So I'll film a little of that and maybe I'll film a little of the games too if I have a chance. What's up? Today is Sunday. So yesterday I played badminton, had a little bit of drinks afterwards. I didn't film too much just because I was pretty tired after badminton and just like was getting through the night and everything. But I do have a few little clips of uh, going to karaoke and going to um, Kurikura, which you probably saw right before this. Today is Sunday. It's my uh, second to last full day here. I have to take this guy over to get delivered to the airport. I made a reservation online to do this. Uh, I made a reservation online in order to do this. It's pretty easy, especially for travelers and stuff. If you have a lot of luggage and you just want to send it either to your hotel or back to the airport. So you have to at least have it delivered two days in advance. 
so I need to go to the center where they're going to uh, pick it up and then my flight is on Tuesday so since today is Sunday I'll have two days to get there and I should be able to pick it up right before my flight uh, right before I check in in the airport so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna meet with another friend we're gonna hang out and that's pretty much my week guys <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't super exciting or anything, but there was a lot of stuff that I had to do in between in order to just wrap up living here and everything, so a lot of packing, a lot of like seeing people and stuff, and so camera time it was kind of on and off just because I kind of wanted to live in the moment as well. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything so far, and hopefully I'll be able to do some of these kind of videos back in America too when I'm more busy and I have more like kind of things to do and I'm able to film more but we'll see what happens. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks so much for watching the whole thing. In all honesty, it's a long one, and was a confusing time for me, but making this video was a great point of reflection for me. I've been back in the states for over a week now, and there are big changes I'm still adjusting to. One thing I appreciate most about Tokyo is the contrast between city and culture which you can see in this clip. Just turn a corner and you'll get drawn into a completely different world. It's something really special and unique about the city. Tokyo has a special place in my heart, but I'm not saying goodbye. I'm simply starting a different chapter in my life, and hopefully it'll reunite me back with Japan sooner than I expect it to. With that being said, Tokyo, mata kondo ne.